This is more fun than it should be. Come to my window Crawl inside and wait by the light of the moon Come to my window I'll be home soon Inside my hell and hold the hand of death You don't know how far I'd go To ease this precious ache You don't know how much I'd give Or how much I can take Just to reach you Just to reach you to sleep giving away promises I know that I can't keep nothing fills the blackness that has seeped into my chest I need you in my blood I am forsaking all the rest just to reach you just to reach you oh. She's a multi-platinum selling artist who is also a human rights activist, cancer survivor, Academy Award winner, and two-time Grammy winner. This morning, we are pleased to be spending the next hour with Melissa Etheridge, starting now on Private Sessions. That was Melissa Etheridge performing her blockbuster hit, Come to My Window, a searing song of longing that brought her second best female rock Grammy. Melissa, welcome to the show. Hi. Do you like performing here in our little set? You know, I didn't know because they, uh, I didn't know what to expect. They said, okay, you're going to do uh, five songs or however many I did. And, and um, 
and it's going to be with no audience. No audience, you know, because <laughs> that's kind of like it's. And I thought, well, it'd be like in the studio, but I got here, and the and the this this place is it's so very intimate, and and it's like a studio, and the sound was so good, and I love playing with my band that we actually had a really really good time. Yeah, and you can see, and I'm so excited to uh, let everyone at home know that you're going to be performing a lot more before the end of this hour, so stick around, including uh, Fearless Love, which is the title track mm. off of your brand new album, your tenth studio album. Yeah. Wow, congratulations. My goodness. Now, a lot is being said about this new album with the release of it that Melissa Etheridge is back. <laughs> Does that surprise you, or is that something that you agree with? Well, I didn't th thought I went anywhere, but <laughs> You're exactly. yeah, I understand what it means because to me, I am going back mm -hmm. or reclaiming or, or, or getting back in touch with that very deep rock and roll side of me. Yeah, and, um, re it's really it, rock and roll, this album. Yeah, I, I, I wanted to bring all my influences in. I used to, I used to kind of, well, I mean, my work is my work, and I, I, I love it all, and it's great. I don't want to put any of it down, but um, this was the first album that I, I said, you know what, I'm going to go, I'm going to just unabashedly think of Led Zeppelin and The Who and Bruce Springsteen and really be dramatic like them and really play the music like like those albums that I used to love to listen to. Oh my God, you're channeling it so well. Oh, One of my cool. favorite tracks in the album is Miss California. <laughs> you know what I love too about the, the fearless love title? It, it really says it all and it, it sort of plays off the old saying, you know, everything is either love or, or fear. Is yeah. That? yeah, well that's, that's um, my, my journey so far in life, right. especially after the breast cancer, mm -hmm. um, has been one of understanding that every choice you make is between love or fear. Right. And um, the title actually came from my daughter. Originally the working title was Songs of Love and Fear because that, that was mm -hmm. the, whole, the whole theme of the, the album was I, I want all the songs to resonate with either the choice of love or fear or both. Mm -hmm. And so, I had, so my daughter came in at, at one point and, and said, so what are, you, what are you titling the album? I said, oh, Songs of Love and Fear maybe. She goes, oh no, that's way too long, Mom. Okay, she, you know, she's 13 and she has her opinion now and yes. you know, she, she knows all about the music business now yes. because she's 13. <laughs> and, um, and then uh, I said, well, how about Fearless? She goes, Mom, Taylor Swift, of course. And I go, oh yes, of course, Taylor yeah, Swift's album know these is things? called Fearless, of course. <laughs> and so I said, well, I don't know. And she said, well, Mom, how about Fearless Love? I said, oh, that actually sounds great. And, that actually sounds like a great title for a song, and then I proceeded to write the song. Well, she must be excited, too, because you also have guest stars on your album uh, to the tune of Joss Stone and an artist who's done our show uh, recently, Natasha Bedingfield. We, we just love her dearly. Incredibly talented. So do you think uh, you also are the kind of queen of putting special appearances in your music videos by celebrities? So <laughs> yeah. since they appeared on your new album, anyone maybe for some of the music videos? Oh, you mean anyone Natasha and Joss or yeah, just do you anybody? Think, or anyone else that you were oh. thinking of? Well, I had just, I've just done uh, something actually for um, the Showtime, uh, did it with uh, Nurse Jackie where Edie Falco came in th with the song Nervous. We did like a little oh, video cool. for Nervous and Edie Falco was it. She was awesome. She is really awesome. Cool. Yeah. Well, um, speaking of experiences with friends like Edie Falco and Joss Stone and we like on the show to surprise our guests, you know, with friends or fans, with a question you're looking at me like you're scared. I'm like, <laughs> Don't oh, the surprise, it's all right. No, but uh, uh -huh. one, of, one of your friends, and also probably considered a fan, heard you were gonna be on the show and had this question to ask you. Okay. Take a look. Okay. Hey, Melissa, Lynn, Private Sessions. It's me, Kathy Griffin. Hey. Huh? Melissa, I have a question for you. <laughs> I know you kind of have a thing for putting Brad's exes in your videos. Let's see, Juliet Lewis was in Come to My Window. Gwyneth Paltrow was in I Want to Come Over. How about maybe you put me in your next one? What do you think? I love Kathy Griffin. Uh, is Kathy saying she's an, an ex, a girlfriend of Brad's? Is no, what she said. That would be scandalous. <laughs> I like that. And she's no. kind of implying I, that. I, though. It was like, yeah. <laughs> I thought she was going to ask, uh, how about Angelina Jolie? And I was like, what? No. <laughs> well, you might as well. Yeah, I no, I, I, I think we draw the line. Um, uh, uh, wow, Kathy. Yeah, right on. We, uh, she should be Miss California, I think. Yeah. Well, Kathy oh, Griffin, yeah. Miss California. We're there. When we come back, we'll hear about how Melissa left Kansas and headed to LA to become a rock star. Stay with us.